Hey everybody. Well, it's that time of year again. Annual time. <clears throat> I got the airplane all apart right now, going through it, trying to get this annual done. And thought this would be a great time to talk to you about a modification that I have done on this aircraft. And, well, let's go ahead and I'll show it to you. So the modification I'm talking about is replacing the factory fuel strainer with this um, STC Steve's gascalator. Um, so why did I decide to change that? Well, the main reason was at this time of year, whenever I'm doing an annual or a hundred hour, if that happened to be the case, but mostly an annual, um, you have to take the thing apart in order to check the strainer. Well, the factory one, you've got to remove a little drain valve. Um, what it was is <clears throat> it had a similar thing, but it had the bowl, a drain valve, um, a little drain tube. You had to take it off, had to undo the safety wire. Then you had to pull uh, the nut off the bottom, pull the bowl, and the factory bowl was lousy. It was was very kind of flimsy. It could deform. And the problem with that was is when you were doing trying to put it all back together, trying to get the thing around and the O-ring seated, sucker was a pain to keep from leaking. And to me, I was like, boy, if I'm struggling this much to make sure this thing doesn't leak when I put it all together, to me that sounds like a safety of flight issue. So, I looked around, I came up with this one, had good reviews, so let me talk about this one. So, um, the price is not terrible. It's, well at least when I purchased it, I want to say it was a couple hundred dollars. But uh, I'm going to take a moment right now and take you to a web page where you can get it and we'll discuss it there. Alright, so here uh, you'll just type in stevesaircraft.com and it'll bring you to the web page and then you're going to go over here and click on the gascalator all right and then uh come down here and you're going to find out which one you need uh right here order here certified approved model list you'll click on it and you'll scroll down to the cessna um and there's a model for the cessna 150 the original through the E echo model for the F through the J and then mine was an L so this was uh, the one right here and you'll see over here it'll tell you unless you have one of the early ones through the E you'll need to purchase this in that bracket that I showed you earlier and uh, you can download the instructions here um, so for instance like mine right here we'll go ahead and show you that and yeah so it's gone up a little bit three hundred dollars but not really bad you just enter in your um, registration number and aircraft serial number and you can purchase it right from here when you go back over here let me go back to the page you'll see oh for instance we'll just pick this one um, you can see you'll have to get the fittings, make sure it works, and you'll have to also purchase the little drain valve in there. But uh, those are the other things you'll need. The bracket, um, depending on your situation, you'll have to get the fittings and you'll have to get one of the little drain valves. Okay, so <clears throat> here it is. And of course, the bracket that you'll probably have to buy mounts to the original uh, bracket back here and then it pretty much plugs in to the existing fittings I don't remember having to uh, get anything I might have had to get a new elbow right here there may be something depending on your setup and your model year you may have to do but what makes this so easy at annual 
all you have to do is take this cotter pin out and rotate the bowl, bloop, pulls right off, you check it, bloop, locks back in, stick cotter pin back in. And now, instead of having your cable that runs up here that you got to pull the fuel strainer, you now have a regular fuel drain for your test tube that works the same as all your other um, you know wing sumps and stuff like that and that's handy because if you don't want fuel spilling out on the ground and before you'd have to try to get a cup or something under there and reach up there and grab the handle when you're by yourself here you eliminate that so saves a little space one less thing in the uh, engine compartment there and I'd say it took me probably a half a day to do. I don't think it was much more than that. Um, of course, whenever you disconnect uh, your fuel line, you're supposed to replace it. And I did replace the fuel line um, going from the uh, new strainer to the carb. So, yep, there it is. Show that to you. Right there. And it still has a little thing on top for your primer. So it's almost a plug and play. Um, and to me, I just think it's great. Big benefit. It saves maybe 30 minutes or so at annual. I'm not having a monkey around with it. Safety of flight. It's not going to leak. No fuel leaks, no possibility of fuel leaks. I mean, that's a billet of aluminum. So, you know, nothing like that. And no more fuel down on the, on the ground or trying to monkey around, you know, uh, keeping your cup underneath it while you're straining it. So those are the big three pluses. I can't say I've got any negatives other than I wish everything in aviation was cheaper than it is. But, uh, yeah, there's an STC for it. And... Um, I think it's a it's a good modification to make to any 150 and probably some other Cessnas out there that have the same stock factory uh, strainer. I think it's a great modification to do. Gets rid of it, all the problems you have with them. And uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching this video. Um, we'll be putting another one out soon. See you then.